you always go in the direction the feather grows. My name is Sharon Lennox. I'm with the Originals Only and I do scratch board. That is my medium of choice. My style is total realism, ultra realism. Uh, I like I like doing birds. That's probably my 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 best work is is birds. I, I love birds. I love the intricate feathers that they have and how it lies on the body, um, how the beak lies, how the eye looks. The eye is the most important thing on an animal or a bird and or a human. And when you get that eye, once you got that eye, you can everything else just sort of falls into place. I need quite uh, good photos to do my work and I have a, a fairly decent camera and lens and whenever I go anywhere I got that camera with me. We were in Africa in 2015 and you can see some of the pieces that I've done reflects that and everything you see is photos that I took myself and to me that's really important to do uh, work from my own photo work. This is a professional level board and it is exactly what I say, it's a hard board and on that hard board there is clay, white clay and on top of the white clay there's a layer of black Indian ink. Now in order to do a scratch board you get your image and you you get it on your on your board. That's your first step and you must have a very accurate drawing. Scratch board is quite unforgiving in a lot of ways because once you get into the black, you cannot fix it. If you're into the scratched area, you can fix minor, minor uh, defects, but you can't do it when it gets into the black. So you've got to really have an accurate drawing. Well, if I was to outline that, I can never get rid of it. So I don't want to outline it because then it wouldn't look it wouldn't look natural. It wouldn't. It would have too uh, a definite stop. You would outline the odd thing, but not in a feather ever, ever, ever. I did sketch. I had a. I had several sketches that I did when I was quite young, and I don't know what happened to them. And I wish I would have kept them because it'd been interesting to see uh, how how it evolved from that time with absolutely no training whatsoever and no study until today where I, to me, it, it's, it's, it's my life now. This is, this is what I do. You have to put layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of color. And I tried using a straighter mix and not watering it down but it just doesn't seem to work the same. And you simply put it on like this. You just, you just brush it on, it dries very quickly. You cannot do any kind of scratching on top of it until it's dry. I'm really happy doing what I'm doing. Um, but as an artist, I don't know I guess I'm a perfectionist and I, I think that a lot of people ask me uh, which is your favorite piece and I say my next one because I always think there's room for improvement. I mean I think, I think my, my work does fairly well you know in sales and, and, and in shows but I think there's always room for improvement and that's what keeps me going is to make that that absolute perfect, perfect bird or perfect feather or perfect animal. It doesn't matter what, but it has to, to me, the perfectionism is, is what, what makes, that's what drives me.